Okay, today we're going to make a folded store hot pad, and it's based on triangles that are uh, placed on top of each other. It's an eight point star, and we build it on an interfacing template that is custom made for the hot pad, and it's basically a ruler. And the ruler has a grid that has increments already set up so that you can build your star, and they're layered. And so to get started, we're just going to start with the very beginning and we're going to put a little bit of glue right on the first piece and put it right in place and we start with four little triangles and we just use a glue stick and we lay them on layer one and we press them gently with a glue toward the middle and the first four that you do establish the eight point star that you're doing and we just put them And there you go, your first four are done. And then we move backwards and we go back to layer two. We take our next piece and we put glue on it, just on the tip, and we move it back. And we're gonna do eight of these. Now the first one was four, but by moving it back, we're gonna establish that little star in the middle. But an eight point star needs eight triangles. So at each intersection of the 45 degrees, we're gonna put a triangle at exactly the same point on the ruler. So we're going to keep going around this with the brown fabric, with the green fabric, and then with our top fabric. And it's fairly quick if you just use a little bit of glue and you press it right in spot. It goes together and stays together unless you want to change it. And then because it's glue, you can undo it and do something else. Another thing to think about is contrast. You want your star to have a dimension to it. So you have to think when you're doing your star, will these layers show together? Uh, and when you get to your last piece, you want to tuck it under so now we have a pinwheel. And then the next layer that we do, we're going to move it backwards to layer three. So we're already on layer three. We're going to do glue. We're going to put it in place. We're going to just get our glue stick. And again, this is a, a very quick thing. And it helps if you're triangles are starched and sprayed nice and flat and they don't start to relax so that your your layers of your fabric are as flat as possible Okay, we're almost done with layer three. We got all the way around here, and we're gonna tick that under, and that's layer three. When we do the top layer, layer four, it's the same thing. We just go right to the end of the template area, use a glue stick and press it. As soon as we're done with this, we're going to take it to the ironing board and iron it, and then we're going to stitch in the ditch. And that is just a very exciting way to finish it up because there's no handwork in it. It's very friendly if you are uh, wanting to do something real quick and make it very well because the stitching in the ditch holds all the layers together without showing your threads. And it also keeps it strong so that after washing and wearing, those threads aren't going to break. So that there, there's a hot pad put together. And now we would stitch in the ditch. And to do that, and I have one already done, we take the hot pad and we open up the layers. And we start at one point, go down, and if we need to, we open up the triangles just a little bit to stitch in the ditch, come all the way through, and stitch all the way to the other side. And we do that four times. 
and each time we do that we're going to get better at it and it, it really helps when you iron your triangles if you leave a little space right at the tip so that that thread will go in there but at the uh, other side of it what you can see is that there's only four seams and then we're going to baste it all around the edge and then we're going to trim off all this extra and um, when we do that we want to get rid of the extra areas of the template and the little dog ears. Yes. When we trim it, then we're getting ready to quilt it. And the quilting is as simple or ornate as you wish. Uh, what I usually do is I get batting, I get a, a backing that matches, and I, I top stitch around the edge so that it, it layers all the pieces together, but it also shows the star on the back. So it's nice. And you can do two layers. You could stop, top stitch more than one, and that looks well, really nice too. Then you're going to baste around the edge and get rid of the batting, and you're almost done. You're ready to bind it. So we've quilted it, we've cleaned up the edge, and we're ready to add our binding. And the, the circle binding doesn't need to be biased, but it's very nice if it is. But if it's not, what you do with straight grain is you take your fabric, you iron, your hem first and then you ease it in gently you gently pin it every half inch and you ease it in and this will make it stay in place it won't stretch it you gently do it and when you're done you sew a quarter inch seam allowance all the way around and you come back over your start point and allow about an inch over your start point and then we're going to close that seam up by hand and that gives us a little tiny handwork. This is pretty much all the handwork except for the binding that you're going to do and this miter then is nice and neat and it's almost invisible when you do it. So we have a our hot pad here is you can see what it's like. It We've sewed the binding on, we took our pins out, we have our hem, we're going to close this opening up and then we're going to hem it by hand. And if, if you wish, you can add a little hanger. And uh, then we hem it on the back with, with our hand by hand stitching. And that's the hot pad.